and welcome back to another episode in our Let's Play series. And on today's episode we're gonna build a bunch of farms and try to prepare a little bit to update to 1.18. So I actually already recorded this episode but I'm re-recording because we had a problem when I updated to 1.18. Uh, the world corrupted so I had to go back to uh, 1.17 here. But yeah, let me show you guys the farms I have already built. So here we have a bunch of those farms that were uh, under the storage, but because we built a new storage we destroyed all those farms, right? So we have farms for these fungos, warped stuff, uh, this here you need to use shears, right? Uh, here is for ferns, right? Uh, these are double tall flowers, uh, these ones are glowberry, uh, hooded the, uh, or hanging roots, right? Uh, and this one is for glow liking. Uh, this one is for cocoa beans and any uh, thing you can plant in farmland, right? Like, yeah, we have this stuff here and shears for the farms that need shears, right? And also, I rebuilt the uh, snow farm here, right? And I also have built some other farms that we haven't before, like this is a lava farm, right? So we just get uh, buckets here filled with lava. And then, uh, because we have lava on top of dripstone there, it will infill the cauldrons. And another farm I build is a farm by Jane. I will leave a link in the description. And it's that rooted dirt farm there. So yeah, this farm makes a lot of noise if we turn on, but uh, if you get some azalea saplings here, you can just hold it here and it will produce a whole bunch of uh, rooted dirt and also uh, wood a little bit, right? A little bit of old wood. Okay, so you just heard a TNT explosion. There's a TNT blast chamber there. And then the blocks come through here. And they come back here. In every explosion we get about 40 oak logs and 40 uh, rooted dirt. So yeah, it's a pretty good farm. I highly recommend you checking you know, Jane's video and uh, building this on your world. But now let's go to the overall in another farm that I want to change some stuff. Okay, so we are here in the gold farm, right? And in this gold farm we have this star here that's very simple. It just uh, filters gold ingots, gold nuggets, hot and flash, and anything in excess like swords and more hot and flash or other stuff we will get to the lava. But this is not very efficient because uh, we are not smelting the gold swords to get more gold, right? So yeah, I turned off all the portals to be easier to work here, that's why we don't have any piglins, right? And I did a new storage for this farm, and I actually already have the schematic loaded here. So yeah, as you can see, it goes a little bit lower than uh, this one uh, was before, right? So yeah, now I just have to destroy this old storage and rebuild uh, the new one and i'm not gonna do that on camera because i have actually a video explaining uh, this new storage so i will leave a link in the description if you want to check that out and yeah i will do this and after it's built i come back with you guys okay guys so i finished rebuilding the storage here for the gold farm and yeah like i said there is a video explaining uh, i will correct the world alone for the video because uh, there are a few problems like this hopper uh, was on that side and you'd get locked by those repeaters that was an oversight I guess and yeah there is uh, there were other few minor issues like there was a, a chest and a hopper here connected to nothing because I forgot right and there was a, a one of the uh, droppers there that dropped hot in flash in the lava was pointing to a glass block instead of la uh, lava right <laughs> But yeah, I fixed that, I will uh, re-upload the world alone, and uh, so yeah, as this video goes out, it should all be working, and yeah, we get really low frames here because of all the pigment, but yeah, as you can see, the farm does work very well, right, we can kill the pigment here, and yeah, sometimes you do get some items, oh my god, and yeah, uh, actually this is good that this happens sometimes these guys that are uh, on top of chickens right the jockeys they get glitch out uh, of the uh, the killing chamber here right the reason why we have the uh, trapdoors here is exactly to not get uh, 
they dig me, but sometimes they glitch out uh, away from the killing chamber. And yeah, I don't know uh, how to do anything about it, I guess. Except to eat and not die, right? Yeah, probably I should make a beacon here, like a resistance beacon or something like that, right? Yeah, right now I'm with the mob sounds off because of all the noise uh, the mobs does. But uh, as you can see, we are getting uh, some gold here. I already got five shocker boxes of ingots and oops, and we still have uh, some here to craft, right? But yeah, let's get out of this leg place and go to another leg place, our end base, and talk about some stuff there. Okay, so we are here in the end, and yeah, um, one of the reasons I think we have a lot of FPS lag, especially if I I show the FPS here, you can see we have a lot of FPS lag is because we are using a lot of this stained and glass, right? Uh, so one thing I want to do is remove a lot of this glass, right? Probably all the glass we have on this top part of the storage and also uh, a lot of this glass on the outside maybe we leave the bottom one or in the top one, something like that but yeah, the walls here we really need to change, right? Uh, as you can see, I'm looking at the story getting 10 FPS when I look the other way, uh, we doubled the FPS so yeah, we really need to get rid of this glass and as I said in the beginning of the episode I did update the world to 1.18 but then I had to go back because I had some problems so I feel like I'm gonna keep the world in 1.17 for a while and yeah, as we can see in our uh, project book here, farms and stuff, right? Uh, we still have a lot of projects, so there's not a problem to not update right now. We can uh, keep doing some projects like this. And one thing I want to do today is this fireworks randomizer, because I actually uh, did a headstone thinking uh, creative, so I will rebuild here and explain to you guys a little bit how that works. So yeah, let me uh, build that and come back with you guys. Okay, so I finished making the uh, firework machine here, right? And yeah, I know it doesn't look the best, the headstone is all exposed here, some of it goes on top of this farm, but whatever, it, it works, that's what matters, right? Uh, so there is two buttons here, uh, because the crafting recipe for uh, fireworks has three uh, rounds, right? The first one, let's press the button here, we should get some stuff, right? And yeah, okay. So yeah, for the first one, uh, we always need one gunpowder, and we always need at least one die, right? But you can have up to eight die here, right? And you can also have a shape modifier, the feather is one that you can see there is a burst shape. We also have golden nugget, fire charge, and heads, right? Any kind of heads. I'm using winter uh, skeleton schools here uh, because it's easier to get, right? And we, we can also make it without any of the shape modifiers and it will just be a small ball shape. And we also get two more modifiers. One is the glowstone that gives the twinkle effect. And the other one is a diamond, right? But we didn't get one this time. So this is the first... Uh, so this is the first round of crafting, you craft a firework star. And on the second one, you can add more uh, dyes, make a fade out effect with that color. So yeah, again you can place up to 8 dyes. And on this uh, case here, we got... Uh, five dice, right? So you can see the, that will fade to all those colors we just added. In the last uh, round of crafting, we get a paper and we can place up to three uh, gunpowder, right? So this time we got two, so we're gonna have a flight duration two rocket, right? And yeah, as you can see here, I have been crafting a whole bunch of different types of rockets here, right? Uh, I already have two other shulkers with them. So yeah, this is uh, how the interface of the machine works, right? Now let's talk a little bit about the headstone. 
So yeah, this first part here, you can see that we have uh, the shape modifiers here. We have uh, diamonds in this dropper. And on this other dropper uh, there, we have uh, the glowstone dust, right? So when we press the first button, we get a signal uh, through here that power these three droppers down here. And these droppers have uh, unstackable and stackable items. So, for example, this one uh, has eight unstackables and one stackable. So, when we get the stick there, the stackable item, this does nothing because it only powers a signal strength one here. So, when we get a stackable item like the stick, it only powers this, uh, has some dust, so it does nothing. But when we get a shovel, it will power this, powering the dropper. Uh, giving us uh, a shape modifier and that's why I decided to replace only one stick here because then we have one in nine chances of not getting a modifier so we're gonna have a small ball firework in that case and in eight of nine cases we're gonna get a modifier that uh, the chance of getting the modifiers I'm uh, determining by how many I place here so we have a four in nine chance of getting a fire charge one in nine of a winter skeleton, and two in nine for feathers, two in nine for golden nuggets. And this chest and hopper here is to refill. And for the diamond and glowstone is the same thing down here, but for the diamond I'm using one stackable item and seven unstackables, which means we have one in eight chance of getting a diamond uh, in our firework. And for the glowstone dust, for example, I'm using uh, one stackable and one stackable, so it's 50-50, right? And also when we press the first button, we get another signal here, and it does uh, uh, several stuff. First, it will activate this dropper one time, always, and this is a dropper with gunpowder, because we need one gunpowder always. And then it will activate this dropper here one time, and this dropper uh, has one stick and eight shovels. And when we get the stick, it will power this, that will unpower this torch, uh, powering this, and powering this dropper here, that gives us one of these colors. And that's why I place on one stick, because I think these are the colors that are harder to see, because they are darker, or they are uh, gray tones, right? So. Yeah, these are the colors that we will get the least amount. And if we get a shovel that we have 8 and 9 chances, uh, this will uh, power this other dropper here, and also we'll make sure this uh, doesn't uh, power that dropper, so we can only power one of the droppers. And that will give us one of these 9 colors, that are the colors that I uh, think are the best for fireworks, because they are more bright, right? And at the same time, we reactivated this pulse extender that uh, activate a clock here, that activate another randomizer uh, that uh, give us more colors, right? So when we press the button for the first time, uh, this will this clock will run seven times, which means we can we always get the first color and we can get seven more, because like I said, we can use up to eight colors, right? And the second button activates this other pulse extender that activates the same pulse extender here to activate the clock. And because we have these two pulse extenders, we actually activate this clock eight times. So that's for the fade colors that we can get zero to eight, right? That's why we don't activate the dropper 100% the first time, because we can also get zero colors for the fade out. And the third button activates these four droppers. One of them gives us one paper always. Another one will give us one gunpowder always. And the other two are also gunpowder, as you can see, but they have a randomizer here that's 50% chance, right? So 50% chance of getting a second and a third gunpowder. Okay, so that was a long explanation, but if you like Headstone, I guess you appreciated that, right? And I will leave a world download in my Discord, the link for the Discord in the description, if you want to check this out in-game, right? And yeah, the only problem with this setup here is that it's very slow, right? Every time you craft only three rockets, 
So yeah, I will spend a bunch of time here crafting rockets, try to fill a bunch of shulkers, and we will do uh, to end this episode and end this year a uh, fireworks show, right? And yeah, that's to thank you guys for following, subscribing, and watching my videos and also on Twitch, right? Uh, it was a great year for me, uh, made a lot of friends in Twitch and YouTube, and hopefully next year will be even better, right? And thank you everyone, and I guess let's go for the fireworks show, and I see you guys next year. Bye!